Hey, what's up everyone? This is your boy Rock Clever with my next video. Um, this is my first official video for my first official topic. Um, we're going to talk about this new Kelly Rowland song, Dirty Laundry. Not in the essence of the fact of the lyrics and what's being said. Well, it is about what is being said, but not necessarily about the whole Beyonce thing and the whole abuse thing. It's more so the timing of this situation in this song. Um, for what I've noticed from the song, it's a really good, great song. I'm, I'm a fan of Kelly Rowland. I'm a fan of Beyonce. I just like music in general. This is not like one of those things where this is a stand thing, so I'm not going to offend anybody. At least I don't hope. Um, so basically, the video, well, the song is basically about her struggle and her triumphs and where she is now. And for me, for what I took from the song, which is a great song, it's not so much the fact that, that she had a envy thing with Beyonce or she was a, in an abusive relationship, which those are very powerful things. But it's so much of the fact to recognize that regardless of how we both may start, let's say me and my sister or me and my brothers or whoever I, you know, we all have the same equal foot and we all start the same way. But it's not necessarily going to balance out that we all reap the same benefits. Just because Kelly and Beyonce started on the same footing, they both didn't land the same way. Like, Beyonce's career skyrocketed for numerous reasons and different things, which is irrelevant to this video, but she skyrocketed and she was successful. She has been a success for over a decade. I think since Dangerously in Love has come out. It's been over a decade, I think. So she's been a success. Kelly has been kind of just, eh, man, like here and there, like, you know, and it's not even comparison of their beauty or anything. They're both are beautiful women. Very gorgeous women. Personally, I think Kelly is sexier. But that's just me. That's just me. No judgment. Um, but Kelly's just kind of been like, you know, she's just been okay. Now that her, her music's not great. Now that she doesn't have great choreography. Now that she doesn't have great videos. The girl is great to look at. I mean, the bitch is bad. Like, th let me just say, the bitch is bad. Point being that... They both had these same roles that they were on. Even though Destiny Child split, they did their own things. And Beyonce was, I guess, the more successful of the group for, for various reasons. And I said that before. So, you got Beyonce doing a thing and then Kelly has this song that just came out. If you haven't downloaded it on iTunes, if you haven't YouTubed it, if you haven't even like SoundClouded it or anything, that's probably not a real word. But look this song up. It's a really great song. But what Kelly, for me, for me, what I've been from the song, back to the message of the song, is that regardless of the time and space of things that you go through and your failures and the bad things that you experience, you can overcome them. And not just to overcome them, that even in this moment, like, you know, for Kelly had to have been in the music industry since 90, since I was in, like, you know, in high school, I'm telling my age. Um, it's just great to see that, you know, finally she's there, like, if you keep pushing, you keep grinding, you keep moving, like, success will happen. Some people hit success quicker, like like a Beyonce. Some people hit success later, like Kelly. And not saying that Kelly's not been successful either end. The girl is very multi-talented. She's acted. She definitely does great videos. She sings very well. You know, she's a talented person. So my thing is, as much as Beyonce's a triple threat, Kelly's a triple threat. But some things just don't measure out in the same way. And this is not a video about Kelly versus Beyonce at all. This is more so about the experience of that. Just because I may start somewhere with with a friend or me and my friend. Let's say me like me, me and my homeboy or you and your homegirl or you and your homeboy. Y'all both started a job at the same time. Y'all literally can be doing the exact same thing at the exact same time. And one of y'all just makes it over the hump and the other doesn't. That's just the nature of life. It's never that perfect. So... When I watched, when I listened to the song, I was just like, you know, just blown away. And then, like, it's getting so much buzz. Like, it's all over Twitter. It's all over Instagram. It's all over um, Facebook. Um, I really don't really use too much other social media than that. I mean, if it's on Google Plus or Pinterest and the other hundreds of social media apps, I have no idea. But it's a really great song. And it's a monument to everything that she's been through and who she is. And then not only is a song... Great, and I think this is where I'm going to slightly piss some of y'all off. Um, Kelly 
song to me personally. This is nothing against anybody else, but Kelly's song to me is what female empowerment songs should sound like. Um, if you look back to like Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill, or Mary J. Blige, um, My Life, What's a 401, things around that time in that era of their, their musical careers, sometimes the transparency goes a lot further than just the, you know, I'm dancing in the club, shaking my ass, and having a great time. And not that nobody wants to party. I like to party. I mean, I got tattoos and shit. I like to party. So, my thing is, it doesn't, like for me, it's just like, you know, she's saying like, ladies, like, regardless of what you get or how you may feel, you can do this. It will get better. And I think that's what is so powerful about the song, which, which for you to drop a banging ass song with a banging ass beat, with banging ass lyrics, and it still doesn't come across as a message song, because you know how people feel about message songs nowadays. People just don't want to hear a message. They just want to just, you know, have a great time, which is great. But for it to translate that well, and then for it to be successful, and this is the thing, which everything comes in timing. It's perfect timing. Beyonce doesn't have anything out. We all know Beyonce is a powerhouse in the music industry. She doesn't have anything out right now. She's not really even a competitor. She's like a Mary J. Blige or like a um like a Jay Z or like a um who's Prince or Michael Jackson, like or Janet Jackson. These people are they don't have competition. Like they can drop eggshells in the record stores and people will just buy it. It doesn't matter what's going on, it doesn't matter who else got anything going on. They just are just powerhouse artists. So right now, personally, I feel like there's nobody out there right now. I mean they're they're great people. I don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking anybody else's crap now. There are some great artists out there and I'm not saying I'm a stand for Kelly either because I don't really get into that and that's a whole nother video. Um but it's like it's perfect timing and I think this is her time and I think she deserves it if anything, if anybody, but my thing is at the end of the day, what I'm really trying to say to y'all is that don't give up. I know you're still in the process of building whatever you're building. Like even this, this YouTube thing that I'm doing and my blog, um, is a process and it may not be successful. It may be successful. You never know. So my thing is like necessarily just don't give up, you know, all your dirty laundry that you have going on, all your things, you know, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll slide. It'll go. Like, it'll go. So, you know, just keep pushing, keep grinding. It will happen. But you have to stay vigilant and you have to stay confident and you have to keep on pushing. And there are going to be people like the abusive person in Kelly's situation who was telling her that no one loves you. People are going to challenge you all the time and, and challenge your worth. And my thing is that what you plan to do is between yourself and whatever God or whatever thing you worship or whatever makes you you know, spiritually, like, like, you know, woosah, like, you know what I'm saying, so, just keep it up, just keep grinding, keep moving, keep smiling, and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it, or you won't be able to do it, I'll talk to you next time, peace.